epidemic here is worse than previously estimated, much worse. The message that's been pushed on us, it's your fault you're fat. Shouldn't be so hard to get them to run around and play, right? They have voracious appetites and they don't exercise enough. It's about how active our kids are. Forget about it. There are 600,000 food items in America. 80% of them have added sugar. Your brain lights up with sugar just like it does with cocaine or heroin. You're going to become an addict. You end up with one of the great public health epidemics of our time. This is the first generation of American children expected to lead shorter lives than their parents. I am 12 years old and my doctors have said that I am a statistic. We're blaming willpower and it's a crime. Over 95% of all Americans will be overweight or obese in two decades. We're toast as a country. The sugar industry is extraordinarily powerful. They're in business to make money, not to keep America healthy. What if our whole approach to this epidemic has been dead wrong? The government is subsidizing the obesity epidemic. To place private profit ahead of public health. Systematic political failure. By 2050, one out of every three Americans will have diabetes. Those diseases are being driven by sugar. This is the fundamental problem nobody's talking about in society. We could cure 80% of the problem where they prepared the food in the school. Tomato paste is a vegetable? Really? Junk food companies are acting very much like tobacco companies did 30 years ago. I would reject entirely any argument that they are in any way harmful. Lying through their teeth. Kids are being told the biggest lie they will ever hear in their lives. Ronald McDonald never sells to children. He informs and inspires through magic and fun. If a foreign nation were doing that to our children, we would defend our families years from now, we're going to say, I can't believe we let 